Okay. Beer is on ice. Get this out of the way. What are you doing here? I guess I can ask you the same thing. Oh boy. Gee, I don't know, guys. Do you think it would look better on the other side of the fireplace? I think it looks fine where it is, lady. <laughs> yeah, I, let's just try it, okay? And my partner will be here any minute. You've lost something very precious to you. But this card says that many good things remain and that the future will bring you much joy if you let it. How's this, ma'am? Oh. oh, I like it. I like it a lot, it looks good. Good, because I'm not moving it again. Uh, what my partner means is that uh, we gotta get going. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I, I understand. And thank you both. I know I, I've been a little demanding. Who? You? It's always, uh, it always takes a while to get used to something new. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. Simon, where are you? Why don't I let you go get the paint charts? So, uh, where, where's Carly? And what are you doing with the keys? Oh, Carly asked me to swing by and pick up something for the apartment we're remodeling, so she gave me the keys. Oh, you know? okay. So she's, she's working, that's where she Yeah, she's working. She's very busy, Jack. And listen, mate, between you and me, I'm not sure how happy she's going to be if she comes back and finds you here. Yeah, I, I wouldn't make the mistake of telling me what you think my wife needs. Ex-wife, Jack. I mean, that's what you wanted. Wasn't it? It was your idea, right? The divorce, breaking up the happy family. You couldn't forgive and forget. Now Carly's moved on, and yet, here you are. I have every right to be here, Simon. And the roses and the candles. What's that all about, Jack? You want it back, Jack? No, hey, is I, that I, it? I, 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 this is none of your business. Hey, listen, mate, I don't blame you. Hey. I mean, uh, there's plenty of women I want to back after I let them go, and you're on the right track. Candles, roses, okay. nice touch. All right, you know what? I, I'm going to be as polite as I can possibly be with you right now and ask you to please leave. And leave you here to ambush Carly when she gets home? You have any idea what you put that woman through? I am not having this conversation with you right now. Why? Talk to me. No, because I think it. it's wildly inappropriate for you to be mouthing off about my relationship with Carly when you have no idea what it was like or what it meant. No, you're right. I don't. I don't. All I know is that... Kelly and I are friends, we work together, and she tells me what's going on. Okay. All right? But do you, do you think it's right to waltz back in here and give her false hope just because you're suddenly feeling regret? <clears throat> you have no idea what it's like to be married and have kids and the responsibility it takes to carry on everything that goes kids along are, with it. Kids I got no idea about, but being married, I do know. I know what it's like to lose a wife because you're too stupid to hold on you to You don't care family. anything about Carly, are you kidding me? All you care about is getting in her pants. Don't go there, all right? I think she's an amazing woman, and I'm there for her right now. That's it. Well, that's very comforting. Bottom line, Jack, she feels good about herself for the first time in months. Now, don't take that away from her, because the divorce didn't turn out the way you wanted. I'll be damned if I'm going to take Why not? Advice hey, from... listen to me. Uh, what? I have made more mistakes with women than you could possibly know. But you haven't. This is new territory for you, Jack, because you're one of the good guys. Too good. That's your problem. Now, you walked out on a good thing because it wasn't perfect, and now you have to live with that. No walking back in here and trying to make yourself feel better. That's not fair to her, and you know it. Listen, Jack, you really care about her? 
leave her alone. this get here? Carly? I knocked. You didn't hear me. What are you doing here? I need to talk to you. Is it the kids? My cell phone's no, been on. The kids are fine. They're asleep at Emma's. What is it? There's no other way to say this. I have been a class A jerk. You were right. I was judging you when I should have been getting down on my knees every day and thanking you for being my wife, for raising my children and doing everything you could to support me and keep our family together. But instead, I blew it. I broke your heart. I upset the kids. No, listen, listen. I know I don't deserve a second chance. I don't even deserve the right to ask you to hear me out. But if you love me, Half as much as I love you, Carly. I have been miserable. It's just not the same without you. And I know it's asking a lot. You've obviously moved on. You've got a great new job, a new life, and maybe, maybe you are happy. But if there is a part of you that misses our life together, that this is me. Please, give me a chance to make that up to you. Marry me. Take me back. Oh, Jack. Jack. Mm. <gasps> Where are you going? We were just getting started. What's got you going? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, uh, got kind of caught up. Ooh, love the table. You, you brought pizza and beer. Yeah. Yeah, no, I figured it was going to be, you know, a long night. Anyway, you know, before we started, I, I'd be mean to say this. I want to thank you for sticking by me and for all the time and talent you've put into this project. You know I couldn't have done it without you. Yeah, you're right. You couldn't. Yeah. You are, without a doubt, the most gifted... Hard-working woman, I know. And as a result, these apartments, they're going to sell like hotcakes. Mm, I hope so. Yeah, me too. Because uh, once they do, my designer promised me a very special bonus. Well, then I guess we ought to get back to work. You walked out on a good thing because it wasn't perfect and now you gotta live with it. No walking back into a life to make yourself feel better. That's not fair, Jack, and you know it. I mean, if you really cared about her, you'd leave her alone. <laughs> 